Okay, let's do the quiz on um, Java classes. Okay, so instances of a Java class represent the real world with what two qualities? State and behavior. So a class in Java has state and behavior. State is given by the instance fields or the instance variables and the behavior is given by the methods. Okay. Okay, so it says complete the following class definition for a bank class. Public class, so we have to have this keyword, public class bank, and then whatever. Continue. The bank class has one instance field, branch location count. Complete the constructor method for this class. So we have the bank class, it has an instance variable or an instance field, public bank, string num locations, there you go, this one. So we're going to say string num locations, whoop, actually no, oh my god, this would have been a, a, a problem because it's not going to be, it can't be string because this is an int, okay, almost tricked me there num locations there you go so the num locations so this one here this value gets allocated to the branch location count so it has to be of type int the types must match okay okay on to the next question every java program contains at least one class yes that is true the following class definition requires parameters passed into the constructor to make an instance. Let's read this again to understand it. The following class definition requires parameters passed into the constructor to make an instance. Yes, it does require because if we were to try and call the constructor without passing it a parameter, it will not work, I guess. The following class requires parameters passed into the constructor to make an instance. Yes. True. Okay. Because if this is how we defined the constructor, we defined it as a constructor that takes a parameter of type boolean, then this is how we need to call it with some sort of a value that is of type boolean. Okay continue the main method is automatically run when the class file is executed yes so what i was telling you before that the main method is the starting point of any java application okay an instance is declared in the main function complete the method call okay so we see here we have a class called window. This class has um, a few instance variables and also it has a constructor that is required to, is defined as taking some parameters. So a boolean, an int and an int. And those values are assigned to the instance variables. And now if we are to create an object of this class, so the type is going to be class, Remember that a class is a custom data type. And the name of that variable is going to be bedroom window. We have to use a constructor that is called window and it has the parameters as one being boolean and the other one being int and the other one being int. Okay. So as long as we have a, a, a constructor whose name is window and it has a boolean and two integers one after another okay so we have to use this one in the middle because this one has the new keyword well all of them have but it has the order in which the parameters are um, are put in here they're in the same order that they have been de declared here okay so this could have worked because it still has three but well actually it wouldn't work because this one is an integer, the first one is an integer. 
and then a boolean and then an integer again whereas we have a boolean an int and an int okay we have to have a boolean an int and an int so the one in the middle is the one that is the correct one if we go on to the um, last question so question number eight why will the following program produce an error so we have a class called shelf and we have an instance variable called material and that instance variable is of type string we have a constructor that doesn't take any parameters as we can see and then we go to the main method and we see that in the main method there is a variable of type shelf okay so of type the same type as our class and is trying to create a new object from this class or a new instance of this class so it's using the keyword new which is completely fine is using the name of the constructor completely fine but in the inside the constructor here it's added this string but the thing is that this is going to produce an error because we don't have a parameter declared as one that takes a parameter uh, um, we don't have a constructor declared as one that takes a parameter okay so if we have a look at the possible um, solutions here the possible answers so why will the following program produce an error the instance field has an incorrect declaration the instance field no that's not it so this is the instance field and that's not a problem no constructor method has been declared no it has been declared a, a constructor method the constructor does not have a parameter listed this should be the one okay so this should be the one so far but let's have a look at the last one as well bureau has the incorrect type mm, no it's shelf shelf no so this is it the constructor does not have a parameter listed so the way the constructor is defined here is like okay I'm just a simple constructor I'm not taking any parameters I don't have anything here inside these parentheses whereas here is trying to call the parameter is, is trying to call the constructor with the parameter and this this line here is gonna produce an error okay so the constructor does not have a parameter listed okay and this is the end of the quiz on classes